10 to 15 minutes. That's how long it takes for this material to become this mask frame, which can be cleaned and reused where you then can put a filter on it. Now, this company tells me that at the beginning of the year, they never expected to be making anything like this. Technology used to make airplane parts now being used to help fight COVID-19. We were kind of, you know, um, like many businesses, trying to make adaptive plans and flexible plans, um, but it didn't really cross our minds to become, you know, directly involved. Ascentium in Pflugerville is currently making 3D printed masks that are designed to be reused for the state. Yeah, the state's getting 3.8 million mask equivalents from us. So the way we put the masks together is we put them in a kit. So each kit has uh, about a two-month supply of uh, mask uh, media. The mask's frame is made from a nylon material which is printed into shape. The CEO, Blake Teipel, shows us how the design is done in such a way you can replace the filter in the mask. That way you can wash the frame. It's especially well suited for folks um, in the community, like whether they're National Guard or we've um, supplied some to the police department here in the city of Pflugerville and other first responders um, who need to, let's say, have an interaction and then maybe they want to change their filter media before they have another interaction. For the most part, they've been supplying these masks to first responders and businesses. So we wanted to provide a way to uh, clean and sanitize the actual mask while uh, disposing of the filtration media and putting a fresh piece of filter media on. Typel hopes this reusable method will also benefit the environment. If we can reduce the amount of material that's discarded, then we can actually help um, address you know, environmental uh, uh, concerns as well as keeping people safe. Typel says he never expected their business in Pflugerville would be key for helping the state in fighting COVID-19. With new COVID cases reported in the state, this company says they'll continue to make these masks until they're no longer needed. In Pflugerville, Stephen Sarabia, Fox 7 Austin News.